You're not the good guys. Maybe it should be you that were launching into space. That was exactly the sharp response Fox News host Greg Gutfeld gave to California officials for rejecting Elon Musk's SpaceX launch from Vandenberg. And I believe it should also be directed at the Space Force for their unwise actions in protecting their contractor, SpaceX. Find out everything in today's A Space Droid episode. Staying in America, while NASA accelerates its space exploration activities, most notably, the $5 billion Europa Clipper mission on SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket, which launched on October 14th, SpaceX is also not far behind. Elon Musk's rocket company is literally transforming space travel. Over the October 13th weekend, SpaceX launched the largest and most powerful rocket in history. This rocket is twice the size of the shuttle and can carry three times the payload. However, during liftoff, the mega rocket did what SpaceX has done in previous test flights. What makes this test flight so special is the breaking of human limitations in spaceflight. A 71 meter tall super heavy booster then landed right where it took off from. Everything was completed with absolute precision. This is an extraordinary feat, never done before. This achievement marks a big bang in human space exploration, even for a major national agency like NASA, which, after 66 years of operation, seems to have never dreamed of it. Testing such technologies is risky and expensive for NASA, especially since they are struggling with budget cuts from Congress, bureaucracy, and the persistent consequences of cost-plus contracts. It's safe to say that no government could pull this off. But the California Coastal Commission, a state agency within the California Natural Resources Agency, is putting hurdles in front of SpaceX's expansion for naked political reasons. As a result, SpaceX filed a suit on October 15th against the California Coastal Commission for egregiously and unlawfully overreaching its authority and engaging in naked political discrimination. The tension stems from SpaceX's plans to launch 50 rockets per year from Vandenberg Space Force Base next year, a plan nixed by the state's Coastal Commission. To carry out the plan smoothly, SpaceX is asking for an order declaring the SpaceX Falcon 9 launch program as a federal agency activity. This would mean the state agency couldn't regulate it through its permit process. Instead, the Commission would need to reach an agreement with the military known as a federal consistency plan to regulate the impacts of rocket launches on the coast and wildlife. In response, commissioners argued that SpaceX is primarily a private company and should therefore obtain its own permit, known as a Coastal Development Permit CDP. Their reason is that 80% to 87% of SpaceX's rocket launches aren't carrying U.S. government payloads but satellites for one of Musk's other private companies, Starlink. But according to an analysis from Alex, a physics engineer who closely follows SpaceX news, SpaceX doesn't need to apply for a CDP because the US Space Force has declared the increase of SpaceX launches from Vandenberg as a federal matter of national security. The commission realizes that if they vote in favor of the consistency certification of the US Space Force, it would be impossible to then find a plausible environmental reason to deny SpaceX a CDP, as it's based on the same parameters as the Space Force's consistency certification. So, they've already made up their mind to reject the consistency certification of the Space Force, forcing SpaceX to come before the Commission for a CDP, and finally denying them. This is classic government red tape, isn't it? The current administration could absolutely override the California Coastal Commission, but they are doing everything they can to damage SpaceX. Elon Musk angrily replied to Alex's post, emphasizing why SpaceX filed a federal lawsuit against the Commission to bar them from regulating its rocket launch program at Vandenberg. Now, do you agree that this is political bias from California officials? Please comment yes, if you agree. And guess who has endorsed these officials? The US Space Force. Initially, the Space Force showed toughness against the Commission's unreasonable demands regarding environmental safeguards at Vandenberg. 
but recently, they seem to have reversed their stance, agreeing to all commission requests for increased monitoring and the setup of an interagency working group. This includes the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the National Marine Fisheries Service, and the Federal Aviation Administration to address concerns as the number of launches increases. We don't know what caused this plot twist from the Space Force, but this paves the way for further action by the Commission against Elon Musk and SpaceX. Faced with this, what seems like a threat, SpaceX was forced to act to save itself. Bear in mind, SpaceX is one of the most important contractors at Vandenberg Space Force Base and for military programs in general. If SpaceX gets delayed, critical national missions could get grounded. SpaceX's key role is evident through several military contracts, including a $150 million contract to launch satellites under the National Security Space Launch NSSL Phase 2 program. In fact, to keep up with demand, the Space Force increased its contract with SpaceX by $661 million in July, bringing the total value to around $4 billion. The military and the U.S. government's spy satellite agency rely on the Falcon Heavy as a replacement for the retired Delta IV Heavy rocket, which conducted top-secret missions for over two decades. Falcon Heavy's low launch costs, advanced technology, and reusability make it the military's favorite choice for critical missions. At just $90 million per launch, it's significantly cheaper than the United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy which costs upwards of $350 million. Moreover, SpaceX's partnership with the Pentagon also includes developing military versions of Starlink satellites, known as Starshield. Lastly, the U.S. Department of Defense has expressed interest in using Starship as a government asset for sensitive and potentially dangerous missions. This could enhance the military's power in unimaginable ways once this gigantic vehicle comes to life. But to get there, SpaceX needs sustainable financial resources to fund Starship's development. One of the best ways is through lucrative government contracts. Those opposing Elon Musk know this well, including California officials, which is why they are acting against him now. It's clear that the Pentagon won't want political movements to interfere with their strategies, so their next moves will be more critical than ever. And that wraps up today's episode of A Space Droid. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.